Before we get started on today's lesson, let's review a little bit of vocabulary. A term is the items within a pattern, and the core is the group of terms that repeats. So if we take a closer look at this pattern, triangle, circle, square is the core, and there are three terms in the core. This is, of course, a repeating pattern, so you can see there are four repetitions of the core. So our core repeats four times, and if we count all the items in the pattern, we have 12 terms. Welcome back! So now we're going to take a look at a pattern and we're going to represent it in many different ways. So I've got my hearts and triangles pattern and here my pattern is heart, triangle, heart, triangle, heart, triangle. I can change that into a letter pattern. For example, my hearts will be A, triangles be B. So A, B, A, B. I can also turn that into a number pattern. So I'm gonna do one for hearts and two for my triangle. So one, two, one, two. Many different ways that I can represent the very same pattern. Now the list goes on and on, but I'm gonna stop with these three. I'm going to give you a chance to do some work on the next few slides. Have some fun with the different patterns. And we're back. So while you guys are working so hard on representing your patterns many different ways, I had a little fun with the first pattern. So I decided to think of a few more ways that I could represent my heart triangle. So we left, it, left off at one, two the last time when I saw you, but I was thinking I could do actions. I could do jump slide, jump slide, jump slide. I could do sounds, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp. I could change up my symbols and do snowflake circle, snowflake circle, and it can go on and on. You can have so much fun representing patterns so many different ways. This is all for today's episode of Miss Teacher Tube. We'll see you next time.